It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm bringing the ladies a snacky snack, the rest of a pumpkin and a dandelion plant. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Now, they're not eating pumpkins all the way. There, there you go. Yeah. I'm just gonna take this and toss it in that corner over there. Trinity! Trinity! You don't want any seeds? This is what they like, the guts and the seeds. And the rest of it, they're not interested. So I'm never gonna buy them. <laughs> yeah. You like it? She's so funny. She'll pick on Phoenix and PK, but if Miss Cloud here is anywhere nearby, she runs away. Yeah. All right, that'll take them a while. They literally, the, the rest of it, like the meat of it, mm, they're only interested if I pick it off and give it to them. I don't have time for that. Nobody has time for that. Yeah. <laughs> she she liked eating off of it, but they're always just like, that's the bone of an animal. I know it is, and you love it, so stop pretending. Yeah, I don't pretend like you don't love it. Okay, you see that? She goes over there to drink out of this water that's been there since last night. What? What's so special about this water? They have three bowls of water in the kennel. No, no, we're going to drink this dirty, gross water because it's just so much more yummy than the good, clean water. Okay, that makes sense. So what I do is I just take handfuls of it. I have water in there already. I usually use two hands, but I'm you know, filming and I'm not using my tripod because dum dum jira. <laughs> okay, Trinity. So I just put enough, I put some in there and then I stir it up. You don't have to, but I do. Now this is gonna puff up to twice its size. I might have to add a little more water. They're gonna eat off of this as we're sitting here talking and they'll uh, eat more of it before they go to bed, but not the majority of it. The majority of it they'll eat tomorrow during the day. But I get it ready the night before because, well, we don't have freezing weather yet. It's already puffed up, almost twice its size. And it'll continue to grow, to grow, to know. It will continue to grow. And if you ferment this, you ferment it for about three days to get the full uh, effect of the fermenting. But that's not what I'm doing right now. I'm literally just getting it wet. I'm letting it grow and they enjoy it. It uh, makes the chicken feed last longer, but they also still eat the dry. Often they'll skip this and go to the dry. So I always have the dry on hand for them as well. So see how she's, she's a good demonstrator. Yes, Miss Cloud, thank you for your demonstration. PK, why? All right, so I'm opening this up for tonight. I'm going to have that open all night long. I don't know. We may end up with two out here and two in there. Or <laughs> Here comes Phoenix. She's ticked off at Trinity because Trinity was picking on her. Yeah. It's okay if they don't sleep in there yet. It might, they might have to get reused to it, you know what I mean? Because they've been sleeping out here for a few months. But it's gonna get down to 40 here pretty soon and I, I want them to be in the coop.
right, I took the nest boxes out of the bottom and I have at least one lady so far who remembered, oh yeah, there are nest boxes upstairs. Is that you, Trinity? Yes, that's Trinity. Now it's supposed to get pretty hot again next week, but she's finding all the little worms I put in here. But those are mealworms I put in here to try and entice them, and they weren't having any of it last night. They're like, what? Mealworms? No. <laughs> Phoenix is like, yes. Where did these come from? Yeah. All right, I'm dumping out the potatoes. I dug up some potatoes that I had planted in the ground. All right, oh, look at that. <laughs> what? Really? That's not a very helpful potato. <sighs> That's a bit of a joke, huh? All right, well, let's, ooh, look at that. Nice. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna just make a little pile over here of my potatoes. And this is a success. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this again next year. Little guys. You know what you do with those? You just cut them up and you deep fry them. Look at that. All right, and these are actually good sized because of course I couldn't dig in to get a couple here and there. I had to wait until I was ready. Not, they're not huge. That's all right, I'm not, I'm not gonna bake them. I'm probably gonna fry them. Ugh. All right, look at that, I'm so excited, success. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to do this again next year. Sorry for the glare there. Let's see if there's any more. <coughs> yeah, that's not a lot, is it? But I'm excited. It's still, it worked. <laughs> Yay. It worked. Now I want to put these potatoes in with these before the chickens figure out what I'm doing and try to get in here. Hey, look. No, you can't have any. Look. Oh, my goodness. You're proud of me, aren't you? Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's Trinity. She's paranoid about everything. Mm-hmm. You are. You're paranoid about everything. And all four of them laid their eggs up in the coop today. As you can see, I took out the nest box that I had in the bottom. There's one right there. And it's going to get hot next week, but only for like two days. So they're going to start, I want them to start putting their neg, their <laughs> negs. I don't even know what that is. I want them to start putting their eggs up there in those nest boxes. They still have not gone to sleeping up there. But I'm not too worried about it unless it's a cold night. If it's windy, a cold, windy night, I'm going to want them up top. Cold is not the issue. Well, to a degree. Uh, get it? To a degree. What are you doing under there? What are you looking for, Trinity? And Phoenix is wondering what you're looking for. She's like, do you have a secret? I peeked around the corner and they were like, ah, here she comes. <laughs> it's almost as if they're, they always have one eye looking over towards the house to see if maybe I'm going to come out now. Yeah. I already let them out once today. Yeah. You got an extra twofer, twofer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go look around. And yeah, we're not going to stay out of suit. Oh, oh. <laughs> I 
They really tried to get that moth. <laughs> that moth is happy. It got away. This compost pile might be too wet, quite frankly. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to turn the sprinklers off and not have them go off every day anymore. So I'm going to turn it off for tomorrow so that this starts to dry out. Now this is the new grass and straw from today, so it's not wet. And over here is kind of the second stage compost on top of a final stage. So if I were to pull this back, underneath is actual dirt. You got some straw on your back. How'd that happen? Oh, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, now I'm doing something. Hi. <laughs> Cutting you. Yeah, these vegetables are still good. Yeah. Getting some seeds out of this one. Let's see. There you go. There you go. Get the end of the seeds from this cucumber. You don't want them eating rotten food, but this is actually, I just brought this out today. You gonna have some too, Miss Cloud? She's like, yeah, I can't let PK eat it all. I don't know why not? Yep, there are some seeds in this. This is a lemon cucumber. Not a lemon, but a cucumber. Lemon. Lemon cucumber? Well, whatever. <laughs> yep. You can still eat out of this for a little while. This one, this one was, uh, is no good, but this was an actual cucumber that they devoured the other day. So yeah, there's nothing left. And forget the pumpkin thing. They'll eat the seeds and the rest are like, no, 